In the real estate world, it all comes down to finding deals. When you're looking for rental properties, remember that there are many ways you can discover them. You don't need to focus on every way to find a deal, and sometimes it's best to choose a select few resources and see how those work for you before trying other methods. Here are some of the top ways to find potential rental properties. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll share a way for opportunities to start to come to you instead of having to search for them. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate investing education time from months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Let's dive right in. Number 10, get a dog or walk for dollars. Having a dog is a great excuse to be out walking in neighborhoods all the time. You can spot potential properties and if you see something you're interested in, drop your flyer or business card into the mailboxes of those places. You're looking for properties with overgrown yards, they look run down, or they have deferred maintenance. This could be a sign of an absentee landlord or someone who'd be interested in selling their property. Number nine, tenants. Let your tenants know that you're looking for other rental properties. Explain what you're interested in and ask them to let you know if someone they know isn't having a good rental experience, which could possibly mean someone is looking to sell. You can also incentivize tenants by offering them referral fees if they were to find you a property that you make a deal on. This motivates them and gets them thinking of you when they spot something that may be of interest. Number eight, Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. Scour Facebook Marketplace and other classified sites like Kijiji for potential opportunities. Many homeowners who list their properties on these sites are not the most savvy when it comes to real estate transactions. They may not understand the value of their property or they may be open to some creative ways to get the deal done, such as a vendor take back or a longer conditional period. If you're not sure what a vendor take back is, check out this video right here. Another huge advantage to Facebook and Kijiji is that you'll be dealing directly with a seller. So if you can perfect your sales skills, there may be a lot of potential to pick up some great properties. Number seven, for sale by owner. This may seem similar to Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji, but it's a little different. Websites dedicated to helping homeowners sell their homes, such as Purple Bricks and Property Guys, have benefits that Facebook and Kijiji don't. Listing your home on these sites often puts it on the MLS, which is good for sellers because they get more exposure. It's good for potential buyers, though, because you still may be dealing with an inexperienced seller and because they may be saving on commissions, they may be more willing to negotiate on price. Number six, social media. Use social media sites to your advantage and as a place to get the word out that you're looking to find properties. Be specific and clear with what you're looking for so nobody's time is wasted, including yours. Social media can also be a great resource to discover opportunities others have posted and it makes it easy to get in contact with them. Slide into their DMs, as the kids say. Mortgage agents. Mortgage agents and brokers are often dealing with those who are looking to buy a new property, and this means you may be able to discover opportunities of those same people looking to sell their existing property. Establish relationships with multiple mortgage agents so you can get access to a wide range of opportunities. If you specialize in a specific asset class, such as multifamily buildings, search out mortgage agents who specialize in providing financing to the same group of investors. Number four, friends and family. Your friends and family may be the most underrated way to find great opportunities. If your friends and family know what you do and know you're actively looking for property, they can discuss you and what you're looking for with their network of people. To set you and your friends and family up for success, express what type of property you're looking for, the specific locations you're interested in, and similar to your tenants, let family and friends know you'll pay them a referral fee if they bring you an opportunity you end up closing on. Number three, locksmith appliance repair people, and pest control. Think about the providers who service rental properties and when they are called out. The owner of the property may be highly motivated to sell when they need these services. If a landlord is changing locks, tenants are moving out. If appliances need to be repaired, those can be expensive. And of course, if there are pest or insect infestations, an owner may be highly motivated to sell to get rid of the problem. Service providers who work on properties are a great resource for those who are currently motivated to sell. Number two, property managers. Property owners who have issues managing their properties are the ones who call property managers for help. This also could mean that they may be looking to liquidate that asset altogether. Get in contact with your local property managers for any leads they may have. As a bonus tip, you may wanna consider setting up a property management company for this obvious reason. I know investors who have a property management division specifically to create deal flow in their business. And the number one way to find properties is realtors. 
The majority of opportunities available can still be found through your valuable realtor connections. Finding properties through realtors is still the best way and oftentimes the most favorable. The advantage of working with realtors is they are actively looking for opportunities even when you may not be. A good realtor is also looking to pair a seller and a buyer. The key is to be top of mind. Build your realtor relationships and before you know it, you'll be getting access to properties that are on the market and that may not have hit the market yet through pocket or exclusive listings. As promised, here are some ways that properties can start to find you instead of you actively searching for them. Get the word out for exactly what you do and what you're looking for. Be as specific as possible and opportunities will start to come straight to you. Get in front of as many people as possible, other investors, investment groups, brokers, lawyers, or wholesalers. Social media is also great for getting your message out and having people contact you. To make sure you're getting the best of the best recommendations or leads, provide value to others. Show them what you're working on, provide some valuable information, and it becomes less of a sales sales pitch and more of a soft sell for opportunities. Sometimes you may find you're getting similar results from multiple sources and to solve this, you can communicate with each source to make sure they are all bringing you different opportunities. As always, it's essential to be open and honest with your sources. If someone brings you a deal, be sure to close the deal with them. If you operate with loyalty and integrity, you will find this always helps you in the long run. Remember, it's best to focus on a select few ways of pinpointing rental properties to see how these work for you. This way you avoid being overwhelmed and you can eliminate your least favorite or simply unnecessary methods. If you'd like to learn more about ways to find rental properties, you can check out my masterclass at darrenvoros.com. If you have questions related to finding rental properties or anything else real estate investing related, leave those in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.